And counselors tell me relationship abuse usually begins at school, whether it's a subtle push, a verbal put down, or a nasty text message. And because these whiteout conditions are making it nearly impossible for anyone to travel, one hotel manager is cooking a spaghetti dinner tonight for all her guests. They say no reports of a gas smell have been reported about or from this home in the last eight years. Cawthon's body is currently on its way to Lubbock, where an autopsy should be performed in the morning. While we don't know Cawthon's age, his niece came over earlier today and said that Cawthon was a World War II veteran. With the success of the individual houses, Principal Ritter says she expects the school to be off the AYP list within the next couple of years. Because there's only so much a nurse practitioner can do without the help of a physician, for some, that means taking a trip to the emergency room. The new mission at Cannon Air Force Base is expected to bring up to 2,000 new students into the Clovis School District. And so for the past five months, a school advisory board has been meeting. The city of Amarillo tells me they are unaware of any illegal activity happening here. The protesters tell me they will continue demonstrating each time there is a party until these doors are closed for good. Because of the uncertain economy and these drought-like conditions, lenders are less likely to loan to producers. The Dow Jones is having a negative impact on the value of their products and input costs are on the rise. So between those three things, it's not going to be a real good year. A local farmer and rancher tells me he is holding off on large purchases and trying to buy supplies out of season to get the best deals. If you're asking me if I'm broke, no, I'm not broke. Um, don't want to be. Um, but is there more risk in what I do today? Substantial more risk much more than I'm comfortable with. And because of this financial stress, some agricultural economists tell me they expect more producers to be closing their gates for good. I think if there's any that are going to be borderline this year, this may be the year that some of them go out of business. And if that happens, I mean, uh, they're going to have to find alternative work, which is hard if you've been farming for 20 or 30 years. Producers are large contributors to the local economy. And Jones says if they are tightening their belt, we will have to as well. There's also a possibility that, you know, when ones go out of business, we're going to see the, the tightening in the stores. You know, I think we've seen some rise in food costs, and I think that will probably continue. Jones says dairy farmers and ranchers are struggling the most. For financial advice, producers are urged to call their AgriLife Extension office. Reporting in Amarillo, Patty Carter, News Channel 10. The police department has never seen this sharp of a drop in local crime. They tell us detectives are focusing on high priority items like felony warrants and are getting those criminals locked up. We we utilized our school liaison officers this past summer while they were before they went back to school and during that summer time to do a little bit of a warrant roundup. We had numerous felony warrants that were outstanding. That warrant roundup caught 100 felons on charges including robbery, aggravated assault, and larceny theft. Detectives are also reporting cases to the district and county attorney's office more quickly. I would like to think that, um, how to put it, law enforcement's working together better now than I've ever seen them. But that does not mean more inmates are in the Potter County Jail. In fact, there are fewer. I have nothing to back it up except just in my gut what I really believe is in some way we've gotten the people's attention, whether that's incarceration, probation, or they've seen others go to jail and went, well, wait a minute, I need to quit doing that. Sims tells me the processing of criminal information will become even quicker within the next year. The APD and the district attorney's office are currently working on setting up a program that will allow them to transfer information electronically. This instant transfer of information will greatly reduce the amount of time it takes to capture these criminals. Reporting in downtown Amarillo, Patty Carter, News Channel 10. Well, Alan, it's been warm and dry for the last few days, mm -hmm. but I hear old man winter's coming to town and bringing us some snow. Oh, that's right. It's been a abnormally dry winter, but finally getting a system in here that looks like it's going to give us some pretty decent moisture. And This is the News at Your Desk report available only on NewsChannel10.com. More than $665,000 is now in the hands of the state of Texas after a traffic stop in Carson County. Troopers on patrol in Carson County near Groom stopped a pickup for speeding. DPS tells us officers noticed criminal activity, so they asked for permission to search the truck. Troopers found